Hey, what's going on guys, Hexer, and today we're taking a look at the Hascon 2017 and also Toys R Us exclusive Transformers Titans Returns Grotesque. Now he comes with, obviously, the body here, uh, the little Titan Master, and then also a separate ti uh, Titan Master, which is Scorponok, and uh, bringing a little closer on him so you can see him. Uh, it's got a nice little bit of paint right there, not sure what that face is supposed to look like, but uh, transforming him, uh, he is a little bit different than the other Titan Masters, uh, because his face uh, for the... Um, the little scorpionite face here is die cast. You can see that there's some uh, pretty nice paint on there as well. Not a bad face sculpt, but I know eventually we'll be getting, you know, a much larger scorpionog. So I uh, don't necessarily need this one here, but uh, it's kind of cool to have. So anyways, there's a look at that. Uh, go ahead and take a look at this uh, smaller little guy here. Uh, I like the kind of the um, battle beast looking uh, head here. So it looks like it's a uh, saber tooth tiger uh, with the fangs there you can see that there's also some more like paint in here with the teal and then this is just the uh purple is uh just you know part of this molded plastic here but i, I like that they actually added some paint you can see where they left the little claws you know just this kind of white color right here so i like that this is one of the nicer looking <clears throat> you know titan masters that's made by hasbro usually to get this much detail on one of these little guys you have to buy a Takar version but uh you know, same articulation in and out like that, up and down, and they can pop off, all that good stuff, uh, which is not intended to do. But uh, this way, or you can sit this way, or just transform. And uh, there's a look at uh, the grotesque head, which, uh, again, you know, I think it looks pretty good. You know, with the little blue there, you can see the blue eyes, and uh, it's kind of got a, I don't know, what kind of, he's making a duck face slip or something like that, whatever those, I don't know, that they look stupid, but... Uh, yeah, so anyways, that's a look at that. Now, uh, you could uh, store these, excuse me, on uh, the you know figure like this. So you could pop this open, and you could store one in there, and then you could put the other one where, you know, he's uh, sitting down and, you know, plug this in here, and he could be, like, rotting on the back if you wanted to do that. So, uh, but anyways, well, I get onto the figure. Uh, looking at the, you know, the main body here uh, in his alt mode, uh, again, a lot of nice detail here. You can see with the blue paint, some blue uh, here in the eyes over here. This is painted. Uh, this is maybe just a shiny, uh, you know, blue plastic, but this uh, kind of is it burgundy or maroon, whatever this color is, uh, we'll just we'll we'll just call it red uh, or pink. Uh, it, it's it's painted. Uh, you get a little bit more paint here on the uh, sides there, and a little bit here on the sides as well. These are not stickers. These are actually tamper graphed on, which is the way that it should be. I don't know why they're doing all these stickers nowadays, but because uh, they look cheap, uh, this looks so much better. It being tamper graphed on. Going to the back, you can see that uh, you have some more little blue paint right here, and obviously the gun uh, painted. So. Uh, which is, you know, painted the white because it's originally just this kind of red color here. So we'll look at the gun. You can see that it separates so you can have uh, two guns in his hand whenever he goes into robot mode. As far as articulation in this mode, you know, the wings go back and forth however you want. So they kind of catch right there, which is nice. So you can kind of even them up. Uh, the mouth does open and close. Arms can rotate in and out. Uh, you can have more bend here. And then nothing in the waist and the legs can, you know, rotate. Uh, but I, I find that uh, I've seen a lot of pictures of him where he's, like, you know, hunched over. I always find that mine's falling over unless I kind of do the stand them straight up. Also, I have this problem with uh, Double Cross or whatever, Twin Inferno or wh whatever they were calling them, uh, Double Cross. But uh, where this section here doesn't really tab in very well. Uh, so, and, and neither, the tail doesn't stay together either. And so, it's the second mold we've had, because it's just a remold of the double cross, and, uh, the tail doesn't stick together. You see that I'm applying pressure as soon as I let go, and it starts to separate. So, I don't know if you guys are going to have that problem as well, uh, but it's the same as on my double cross figure. So, anyways, let's get into the transformation. 
Uh, first thing that we're going to do, you know, close up the uh, mouth and then we'll do the legs since these are already kind of just put those out to the side. Close that up and bring that around. And close that up, bring that around. Then you can come out to the side with these. And bring the legs down. The same thing with this one, bring that leg down. And then just close that up, come down with that, close it up, come down with that, and then rotate the feet around. And then with the head, I love the way this head's put together, so it's two parts. This right here is going to disconnect, and then you're going to fold it back onto itself. Come down with this, up with the mouth, arms, come up and rotate, come down with that. This guy's just untabbing all over the place. Uh, undo that, and pull out the hand. Uh, same thing with this one, you know, 180. Come down with it and then just bend the elbow forward. Claw back and fist out. And then we have our body for uh, Grotesque, which, uh, again, you know, all, all the paint on him I think looks really good. Uh, so let's get him into semi-decent pose before we uh, put the, the head on here. And I, I love that it comes with two guns. I wish more of these figures came with two guns. And we just snap that on. And uh, you can do, you know, redo the wings however you want. And come all the way out if you want it. Or kind of a you know, quarter turn there. But a uh, little 360 of him. I think that, uh, you know, this one looks really good. I think it looks better than the double cross, to be honest. Uh, one, you know, there's more paint. Uh, to this figure. Also like the wings back here. Uh, it, it, you know what it kind of reminds me of? If you guys watched, uh, you know, G.I. Joe, uh, the movie. Uh, not not the, the new, you know, live actions. But I'm talking about the, you know, the cartoon from the, you know, the 80s. Uh, with the wings here and the color that he is. It just sees little... Uh, well, kind of spite things here on the, the bottom of the elbow. It reminds me of Nemesis Enforcer. Uh, if you guys remember who he was. He was a uh, part of the Cobra Law. It came with a snake guy that I never could, you know, the toy. I never could figure out how to get the thing to stand. And uh, some other red guy with like a, a snout or something. He looked like he was a Star Wars character. But anyways, uh, that's off topic. But if you're a G.I. Joe fan, you know, I could... Uh, it's kind of like a robot nemesis enforcer, you know, because you see the thing with the elbow, the wings, uh, his overall color, I, you know. Tell me if I'm wrong, you know, you G.I. Joe fans. I think it's pretty close, pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so as far as paint, you know, you had this uh, kind of, uh, you know, on the bottom lip, the maroon, and then you see some blue, some silver there. Some more uh, paint here in the shoulders, Tampograph Autobot logo there. Uh, the blue that we've already pointed out. This is painted here at the little belt. Uh, so you get the uh, little red and gray there. And obviously that's tampographed and nothing really here on the back. But uh, as far as articulation, head, you know, rotates, kind of looks all the way around, shakes, all that good stuff. Arms rotate in and out, bend. They also rotate here. And uh, if you wanted, I guess you could say they... You know, the hands can move in and out, but uh, it's part of transformation. Nothing in the waist. The legs, you can just raise this little front flap up, back and forth, in and out. Uh, you see that they have a mushroom peg here at the thigh, which is pretty strong. Your knees go all the way back, and uh, feet can rotate. So I think this guy's, uh, you know, pretty cool. And the fact that, you know, he's finally, if you, you missed out on him like I did at Hascon, uh, you're just waiting for however many they said, like, f they had like 5,000 or something like that that was going to be at Toys R Us. And um, you, you just waited. You didn't play the, pay the ridiculous money on eBay. That's what I, uh, I waited uh, as well. And I uh, was able to pick them up for, uh, you know, a pretty decent price. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get back into his alt mode. 
but we'll just uh you know put that together head off and just straighten the legs out we go and start with the arm so that comes down rotates and then hand in claw down and do the same thing with this one so come up rotate 180 and then claw down and come up with this like so Again, we'll open his mouth. And then this part down here. Pull these up. Suckers stuck in there. There we go. Go ahead and pull that out. And you can bring this down and that down. Do the same thing with this one out. I'm going to go ahead and extend this. And then the back will connect here. The tail will kind of connect. And you'd bring it to where you're supposed to get these little tabs in here, but mine don't ever want to get in there, so I don't really bother. I just kind of use it as a a guide to about how far I'm supposed to lean them. Uh, that way I can just set everything up with the legs. I don't even tab those things in because they're not going to stay anyway. And Get the gun on, and there he is, you know, transformed, or, you know, for the most part, except for these, uh, these little bottom tabs. Those don't seem to want to go in, and this doesn't want to seem to, you know, stay shut. So I'm just going to leave them in robot mode, which I'll leave uh, all my figures in anyway. So, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for, watch uh, for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.